let's start again. We have Cristina Carnevale here that we talk about a very nice project she's doing in Campi Aperti. She was with us yesterday, didn't have a chance to see the presentation, so I'm very curious to see it now. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm uh, Cristina Canevali, I come from uh, Bologna, I'm a front-end developer, but I worked also in the past as a CSAM for three years. Uh, but I'm here not to speak about uh, my job, my work, but uh, about uh, uh, the time that I spend to uh, improve a community that is based in Bologna and uh, about uh, improve the freedom of our community. Uh, so I, I not come from a company and also for explaining you better what uh, we do, I, I start uh, a bit explaining the infrastructure, the human infrastructure, the decisional infrastructure, and uh, our hardware infrastructure really fast uh, in the principle and in deployment and uh, about uh, the cloud that uh, we have. Um, okay, so uh, what is uh, compatibility? Campiaperti. <laughs> Campiaperti uh, is a, a group of uh, farmers and, um, and uh, uh, consumers that we call uh, co-producers and um, is um, a real community of <laughs> people um, that uh, started in 2001 or more the topic of uh, food sovereignty started uh, with uh, uh, Via Campesina uh, it's a world uh, movement um, that speaks about uh, the, the rights to, uh, for the for local community to decide uh, what uh, what to uh, eat and so also to decide to decide how the, the how will be the development of the territory uh, near them. Um, who on, uh, on which uh, Topics on how they do this with the principle of equality between the people, uh, understanding understanding the diversity, um, taking decision uh, with the method of the consensus, uh, with the mutualism, uh, with the sense of limit inside of an economy of um, solidarity and uh, relationship. I show you two minutes of this video to understand a bit the environment. No, no, there is no audio. Aha, because I want to show you in a really, really fast uh, way. Uh, so I need to do one or two minutes. Ah, okay. It's uh, to explain that uh, they started 15 years ago and really few people that want uh, that are farms, farmer, uh, farmers that uh, do direct sell. Uh, so it's a uh, uh, quite easy um, stuff to understand, a place. Uh, they started to do this and uh, after, well, uh, after year after year they grow and grow and grow. And now they have uh, um, eight weekly markets. Uh, in Bologna uh, with uh, 135 uh, farms and uh, uh, more than uh, 2,000 uh, people plus more that come to buy. And I find very really interesting this, um, this uh, group of people also because uh, um, I think so that they um, uh, take the um, uh, they um, take uh, the um, issue of uh, organized uh, people in a really uh, radical uh, way, uh, starting from the roots. And, um, and uh, yeah, about uh, what uh, we eat and about our territories. Uh, and so uh, with, the, with a really low level idea, like uh, don't starve. <laughs> and uh, take, taking uh, um, and taking a decision uh, in a, in grassroots uh, movement. Uh, I, as um, as a developer, I I find this uh, approach really interesting. Uh, also because uh, um, like uh, I think that our system has uh, some problem, and uh, um, I feel um, comfortable in a way that. Uh, uh, I know that uh, I do a work really uh, on uh, 
as a developer, really uh, on a top, on a level, on, in a level, on top, another level, on top, another level, on top, another level, on top, another level. Uh, so, different, a lot too much uh, infrastructure levels for me. And uh, so, I like uh, uh, my, uh, my life uh, with a uh, foot in uh, this uh, super specialist uh, work and also uh, in another part that is really basic the food and uh, the, the farming. Okay, this, is, this video is only to show you that uh, we are real people in a real city. In, uh, <laughs> Um, so, which are the main topics of this group of people, this uh, human organization? One is agroecology, so take care of our ecosystem that is near to you. And so it's easy, it's near to you, it's uh, everywhere you go. Um, take care of the food autonomy. Um, use our consensus method, method that we will, be, we will see a bit what is. Um, this is um, they, one of the stuff that uh, they do is a participatory uh, cert uh, organic certification uh, because they don't uh, um, they are not agree with the certification the central uh, certification biological cert no, organic certification of the state um, to explain to you is like uh, they don't like a uh, uh, central authority uh, organic certification <laughs> that they have to pay and they check you one, uh, one time uh, in the year and they really don't know you. They meet you only one time a year when you have to pay. Um, they like more uh, participatory um, distributed certification that uh, to explain to you is like a, a way of, uh, for example, uh, for GPG, the web of trust. So normal people sign uh, something, but this kind of uh, certification happen every week at the market because they meet at the market. So and uh, between people that uh, lives in the same place, in the same place that meet in the same place lives in the same territory. Um, the other main topic is uh, uh, build another kind of economy that is based on the relationship, so based on the on the knowledge of uh, what are you doing together and uh, not uh, in, the in the competition. So, which is the consensus method? It's not uh, something of... Um, 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 like, uh, it's not uh, something that uh, you, you can try... Yeah, you can try, but uh, uh, it's a techniques also. And so, uh, we uh, developed and we improve our ourselves. We use a formal method of uh, consensus. Um, the consensus method takes uh, time, normally, but uh, it's the good news is uh, it's not a uh, non-monopolistic method, so sometimes if you need or if you are in an emergency, you can decide to go in another uh, method, for, for example, a mutation, and, uh, and after go back uh, in, uh, in, uh, again uh, in the consensus method. Consensus method uh, means that uh, you don't have a, a minority and a majority, but uh, try to um, to find a consensual uh, way to uh, to take a decision. <coughs> so it means that it's based on the on the relationship and uh, on trust. Uh, normally, when you have to to take a decision, you ask to the people to. Uh, decide um, if they will be active in their consensus, if they will be, um, they give the consensus but say, that, uh, yeah, okay, but this topic, I'm not really, really in deep in this topic, but uh, I think that the, I trust you and uh, I give you my cons I give the consensus. Uh, or uh, decide that the third uh, position could be uh, active distance, that means A, we have to take care of this decision, maybe I don't understand all the technical stuff, but this decision is uh, far from our principles. And so we have to stop and, uh, and, uh, and uh, find a different solution. Um, I told you that we use a uh, formal uh, consensus methods. That uh, so we have, uh, for example, reports, uh, timekeepers, uh, and uh, uh, some uh, agreements inside uh, of the, the meetings that are, uh, for example, the rights uh, to be listened. Um, and okay, like uh, 
are uh, more uh, disassembly, are uh, paralyzed, and, uh, some, and uh, sometimes together, are uh, every market, I told you that are eight, every market has um, an assembly every month, uh, every two months there, there is a general assembly with all the farmers, every two months there is, uh, the, in the other two months, uh, there is the assembly with, uh, of the territory to, um, for the mutual aid. Um, but in, in, uh, in globally, we try to never uh, work in um, an emergency, but uh, try to understand the best that we can of our uh, um, position and uh, uh, prevent uh, the problem. The problems. And then, and then try to love the difference. Try to understand one with the others. So, uh, going in, um, in the technical stuff. Uh, which how we, how we do the basic communication um, by the principle of our basic communication uh, uh, to understand to to decide which uh, um, technique we want to use we uh, we have to reconcile uh, our, uh, our desire of autonomy uh, so um, robustness, ethical, technical choose and dissemination. So our resilience uh, is, uh, is uh, the start from uh, the desire of guarantee of our, of our autonomy, so improve ourselves. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, improve ourselves, so uh, doing uh, the stuff uh, by us. Uh, uh, it's uh, reachable in the territory, uh, not uh, censurable and uh, not arbitrary. We have the technical tools to about free and open technologies that are based not on obscurity but on knowledge. Uh, we decided to not track the information of the readers uh, not, uh, and not to do tools that are centralized, like uh, so we decided to be uh, anti gafo Gafo Google, uh, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Apple and Microsoft. Uh, to not centralize uh, the, our uh, data and uh, um, and uh, yeah also choose uh, some some uh, solution that is privacy friendly like our privacy our intimate and dissemination but uh, yeah you have to find a, a balance between uh, this stuff and uh, reaching the people that uh, not use uh, your uh, your tools so in the basic communication, what we decided in 2004, we decided to use a website hosted by Autistic Inventati, uh, that uh, is uh, an organization that uh, looks like, uh, in, the, in the principle, I think it looks like our organization, are uh, people that uh, uh, are self organized and self managed uh, uh, servers. Um, also, not take a lot of the visitors and uh, are uh, privacy friendly. Um, but uh, we take this decision as group, but uh, yeah, sure, we're not close the, the other possibility and the individual possibility. So, all the people of the network of Campia Party can use also uh, their, their tools. So that if they use Facebook for communicating to the other, yes, please uh, speak about Campia Party with your Facebook. Account. But uh, as a group decision, we decide to not use this. Or uh, yeah, probably exist one, but uh, not uh, as a main uh, main uh, point of sp for speaking to the other. Uh, or uh, yeah, this. we have a lot of main list to 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 keep uh, in the communication the markets, uh, the local groups, uh, the topics groups, and uh, this. Uh, all, way, all, all the main is also in uh, server privacy friendly. So, um, advanced, after, okay, website it was basic, but it was something uh, basic for an organization in the 2004. After what happened, that um, uh, we spent a lot of time thinking about uh, we have the needs, yes, we have needs. For example, a lot of us live in the countryside and not as an internet, connect, not that internet connection. <laughs> and so we started to build a... a, a Physical infrastructure uh, that is a mesh network um, that started uh, three or two years ago. Uh, now we have seven nodes and uh, grow slowly because uh, also the, um, we have to give the time to the people to learn, to learn. So grow slowly but uh, in a robust way. Um, in, uh, in January of this, this year we started also. Um, 
not no. We had a, I brought a self hosted, but it's a self managed cloud um, by our community. Well, but at the, moment, at the moment, they are inside only the administrative uh, data. And, um, and we also started in, in April to collect all uh, our uh, uh, information that uh, in the last uh, 15 years uh, we spread uh, in, uh, in different uh, ways, flyers, uh, uh, interviews, uh, and uh, yeah. Um, I told you that uh, we, we do the stuff uh, slowly to give the time to all the people of the organization to understand, and also in, um, in group, uh, we started in 2016 to speak about uh, advanced tools for communication and for organization uh, in uh, this uh, national um, meeting that uh, collect uh, all the other uh, uh, network of uh, farmers. I come from Bologna, but there uh, exists a uh, uh, network of farmers that uh, practice uh, uh, food sovereignty also in uh, Rome, Naples and blah blah blah. So, uh, okay, so we started to speak about technologies with, uh, with the farmers and uh, we, uh, we started by the principles. So, again, uh, how we want to develop our technologies. Uh, we choose a feminist perspective and um, we, are, um, we, when we know, like, we understand that the technology every, every time is a, a proportional between uh, have more abilities, empower yourself, but also become more dependent from the technologies itself. Uh, like uh, yeah, the elevator, and uh, you can you use an elevator. You put an elevator for a, a, a higher house, uh, but uh, you can't uh, destroy the scale, the steps. Yeah, so this. Uh, so and also we find other points. Uh, we think so that uh, it's about stuff to do the things alone. Also for rest, rest resilience. Uh, also because the, point, the moment in which in the moment in which you do the stuff uh, is a good uh, moment uh, to for learn for for other people. So please uh, do this when uh, so planning when uh, you do the stuff and uh, do with someone that uh, is uh, newer than you. So if you are also recognizing that uh, every one of us is uh, maybe is a proficient in uh, some abilities and uh, new in other, every one of us. And, uh, um, and so uh, exchange the knowledge at that time. Uh, contemplate the possibility of make a mistake, so create uh, uh, test environments, uh, mandatory. <laughs> Uh, documents everything that uh, we do because uh, this is something important for the group. Also, document the, the, why we don't uh, choose something, not uh, only document uh, what we choose. Uh, give the time uh, for the people, not uh, okay, someone of us uh, has uh, the, the knowledge, but uh, decide to limit uh, herself to not go faster because uh, you have to take the time for, the, for waiting your community and share knowledge. Another principle. Uh, yes, share knowledge, and in, um, in the moment that you choose uh, uh, technology, uh, understand that uh, uh, understand that uh, the new the new technologies, the information technologies, the technologies uh, uh, of the software uh, that incorporates algorithm are not uh, neutral, and so you have also to uh, read the documentation of the technologies before you decide to adopt it or not. Um, another point that is not written here that I forget, but it's uh, the important stuff is also that uh, we don't want to uh, sacrifice some people of us. So, like we don't like uh, too much as, as a specialist people, um, be because uh, also because uh, it's a point of failure for uh, their life. Uh, to be too much specialized. We have in the organization of farmers, some uh, developer, ex-developer, and the ex-sysadmin, for example. That I think that we probably can uh, do a study about uh, uh, <laughs> uh, burnout, and uh, we have some developers that, uh, some people that make wine in our organization that was uh, ex-developers, and it's really difficult them to come back to put the hands on the keyboard. So we don't find a better way, more balance. Ah, okay, again, technologies, 
we we exit from the principle that we are already in the in the development. Uh, we developed uh, the mesh network, these are the characteristics. We use uh, a lot of uh, TP Link and uh, Ubiquiti uh, antennas. Uh, there are uh, 15 people involved in this moment in the mesh network, you know, one of the valley, and uh, four technicians, four people that are a bit more skilled. Um, the software we use in Bermesh that uh, is a um, configuration of over uh, open QWERTY over the system. And uh, yeah, we use uh, but at the moment we still use Batman uh, at level two, and we are mixed six at level three. But we are we are migration. We will migrate to um, double D probably yes, uh, for the level three routing program. Okay, some uh, photographs, um, files, uh, and then uh, so, yeah. Ah, yes, the Linux, we are inside of the Linux uh, network because uh, we like uh, the Pico Pira agreement. So, uh, in the next step of our network would be uh, the extension of the mesh network. Maybe we want to become our uh, WISP also to take care of the uh, um, net neutrality, but uh, we will see. Another stuff is okay, now we are uh, um, the we, are, uh, we have a self-image server, but probably in the future we want to uh, have a self-hosted servers. Uh, so, plan for the future. Um, our cloud. Okay, I, I don't know how much time, but okay, our cloud. cloud. Um, we spend a lot of time to think about uh, the cloud. At least uh, we found um, uh, the first problem was uh, the human problem. Who can put uh, the hand in the cloud? Uh, we we have only one person. After a bit, we find that we decided the minimum the minimum number are two pairs, two people. Uh, the good number are four for start. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, three and a half, and uh, an herbalist, an astrophysic, uh, 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 laborer in the in field, uh, agriculture laborer, and a technician, uh, information technology technicians. Um, uh, we think to the cloud because we had a lot of private data uh, of the organization and uh, the website was not more uh, enough for us. And also, we also was uh, uh, worried about the data that we have in Google Docs because we are a group that uh, we did like, uh, like in the food, we decide to not buy the potatoes from the um, from uh, the big uh, distribution, at uh, the same way we don't uh, put our data in uh, the, big, the big distribution of the data. Yeah, this. Um, uh, yeah, this. Technically, what we put in this server, we spend a lot of time also to find an uh, internet service provider and uh, uh, to find a data center that could host our machine uh, that, uh, are, uh, that is uh, compliant with our view of the life. <laughs> and politically, at least we found in France, in France, we found in France uh, some ISP that uh, has also data center. Uh, they started 20 years ago uh, to um, to defend the data neutrality and the, to defend the rights of asset, access to the internet, and has a donation business model. And so we find we one day we meet uh, data neutral and uh, we fall in love with them and decide, oh yeah, thanks, we want, uh, at the moment, uh, we have a, a virtual private server of VPS with them. Uh, how we um, configure, uh, we are Debian on, and uh, we are using Docker with Docker Compose, yeah, we have, uh, we have a service on one machine, so one service, one machine. Uh, next cloud. Um, Okay, what do we want to go to do in the future? Um, we want to give a space in, that, uh, in our services for individual intimacies, what that means for uh, private data of uh, all the people of uh, Campia Party, so the more than 2,000 people that I told you, and so we have to have a good plan for uh, scale. And uh, we, did a good, we uh, did a good plan, we have a uh, um, So. Split uh, software from configuration, from authentication, uh, adopt a container orchestration, and monitoring. We decided to not use Kubernetes. We, we uh, started 
a bit on the surface, we made that documentation and we decided that uh, no, the learning curves is too much for, uh, for uh, our organization and the model of uh, not, to, not to become too much specialized. And so uh, we look, uh, in the, look uh, around us and uh, we, um, we find that uh, this year uh, Autistic Inventati um, changed the infrastructure and uh, we were inspired by them and we look at the, the, their configuration. How many in the uh, whole uh, know Autistic Inventati? Okay, a few, right? Okay, Autistic Inventati is a uh, yeah, self-managed, uh, service, uh, resilient, robust, anti-fascist, uh, anti-sexist that started uh, in 2001 with the same uh, political uh, aim of us and uh, they are really uh, focused on uh, privacy and uh, anonymity and uh, uh, security. So, this is our uh, uh, project that uh, uh, follow their change of infrastructure. The, the stuff, uh, also the good point of uh, Autistic is that they had uh, 15 years uh, of experience and they started with, uh, as the meeting of two groups. So in, in the 2001 the, they yet started with uh, more than one machine and with more, and more than uh, one domain. So something that is uh, strange for a small organization, not because they started as, as a small organization, but as the uh, join of two small organizations. Uh, so they changed, um, they divided the configuration between specific and the generic, they used to manage the configuration they use Ansible, that versioning with Git, and uh, to manage the, the software, they use a Docker file, a continuous integration, and uh, what is this? Uh, the, uh, and uh, Float is the uh, minimalist orchestration manager. Float is uh, developed by them. Oh, okay, I will explain this after. It's uh, developed by them like uh, plugins for Ansible. Uh, I want to show you that this slide is just to, explain, to explain that uh, in this way we can manage all the versioning by Git. There is a not public Git that with the Ansible, the post configuration. There is a public Git with uh, all the software and uh, our uh, customization. And uh, there is another Git uh, with uh, the credential. The, inside the float there is also a part of the code that uh, is a single sign on. And uh, so there is a double authentication, uh, support uh, the FIDO2 protocols uh, and uh, token authentication and uh, OTP, so same one. And uh, double the possibility of uh, production, with, uh, so uh, deploy the, the, the Docker and the configuration of Ansible on, on the host, on the different uh, host, and in the different, the different services in the different host. Uh, but uh, you can also, with a uh, good use of the Git sub-module, you can have uh, also the same uh, stuff in a virtual machine using Vagrant. Okay, this is uh, the last uh, slide. This is uh, the link uh, for Float. Uh, another, our, uh, um, something that we, need, we ask to our, uh, our uh, uh, manager container uh, is uh, to be easiest as uh, possible and uh, also give us uh, some monitoring uh, system so uh, float and stuff for you on the machine, uh, Prometheus and Grafana. Ah, non, non ho la connessione internet. Vabbè, però forse ho finito il tempo, non so. Sì, ok. So I, I hope that you go to see this link and if you have some questions.